Hey everyone, what's going on? In most of the videos that I put out on YouTube, I talk about gematria, which is the practice of coding numbers into words. And it is something that is used by the Freemasons, the Jesuits, the people who rule over us, the people who control our media, and they code our media this way. I have, you know, thousands of videos and blog posts documenting the same thing over and over. Our sports leagues are rigged this way. Our history is rigged this way or set up this way, so we're told. It's the practice of coding numbers into words. And I'll leave a link in the description called How to Gematria. You can check that video out and you'll understand what I'm talking about. But, you know, for example, in the alphabetic order, a equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, D equals 4, and so on. If you add up the words, if you add up Jesus, it equals 74. Cross, 74. Gospel, 74. Messiah, 74. Lucifer, 74. Muhammad, 74. Joshua, 74. Yeshua, 74. English, 74. Gematria, what I'm talking about, equals 74, the practice of coding numbers into words. And it is something that really does exist. And the more and more that I study this and I see how it is coded in the media, the more I start to see these things syncing up in my own life. And this is what I believe is going on. I believe these people in power know about this universal system that exists all around us and they know how to manipulate it. And they use it to their advantage to stay in power, play God, rule over us every single day. And I think that if we all understood this knowledge, we could use it for the greater good. And that's why I keep exposing this. I keep showing it over and over. But in this video, I want to show something that happened to me on September 18th, which was interesting. I also want to show the death of Dave Thomas, the guy, the Wendy's guy, and his death was synced up by the numbers, synced up to Wendy, synced up to 9-11. He died 119 days after 9-11 in 2001. Anyway, what, what had happened this day was, lately I've been documenting a whole lot of stuff about this twin symbolism that I've been seeing. There, there's just been all kinds of twin stuff in the media, a story about conjoined twins, a story about the twins in the Houston flood that were also in Hurricane Katrina. Jay-Z had his twins during the sign of Gemini, Gemini the twins. I've just been documenting all of these things that are synced up to twin symbolism and all of these weird occurrences that keep happening to me. For example, just today, I it was it started off as a bad day, whatever. I had to walk uptown and I was trying to find my golf cart key from my girlfriend and I was standing there talking to her at the gas station and some, the like a person walks in, a random kid, he's wearing a shirt that says twins on it, nothing else, you know? And it's, it wasn't a Minnesota twins shirt or anything. He's not a twin. It's just the strangest thing ever. Maybe I'll talk about that later on in, later on in the video because uh, yeah, it, it's sort of connected, but not really. So but I just wanted to give another example. These weird things happen all the time lately. And I had documented on my blog, and I think I made a video on it, about how my band, I keep seeing this number 261, and I didn't know what it means. And I noticed that my band members, my drummer is originally from Los Angeles, and my the guitar player singer he had lived in Minneapolis for a good amount of time, and I keep talking about how I think it's going to be the Twins and the Los Angeles Dodgers in the World Series, and a lot of the stuff is synced up to it. And I just happened to notice that my band had a bunch of these connections to the number 261. And For example, the drummer, his name equals 261, our first show ever was at the, the Down Under Lounge that equals 261. We practice on Nelson's Creek Drive that equals 261. And it's also 144th in Nelson's Creek Drive. If you write out 144, it equals 261. And then the guitarist and whatever, he 
he equals the same as the drummer, except for he equals 216 instead of 261. And I thought, how interesting, you know? And September 18th, I, a week before that, I got a random text telling me that we had a show at the Down Under Lounge again that equals 261. September 18th, the 261st day of the year. And I just thought it was funny, you know, we randomly get another show at this place that equals 261 on the 261st day of the year. My band has all these connections to 261. And anyway, on the way there, like I hadn't ate all day and whatever else. The only way I know how to get to this place, because it's a one way, you got to go the opposite way. So I just took Dodge Street, right? Right off Dodge and talking about the Dodgers as well. But anyway, I drove down just to make it easier, but I saw Wendy's for whatever. It's like the only fast food restaurant, the first one that I saw. And I was getting hungry and I was like, all right, I'm just going to stop at Wendy's and order off the dollar menu really quick because I know I'm probably going to be drinking a little bit, smoking, whatever. And I'm going to be hungry, right? And, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, I probably should be eating at Wendy's. I know that, but man, whatever, you know, I, it's a hard habit to break. Anyway, I go through there, and I just order a chicken sandwich and a small french fry. And I was sitting there, and I looked up at the screen, and it said $2.61. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, So this day is all about $261. i will show you my bank statement even. That's what I wanted to show. Just to prove that it was $261 on the 261st day of the year. Now my computer won't load. But 261, it was on the 261st day of the year. I went to Wendy's, you know, going to a show that equals 261 with my band member who equals 261. And I thought, what in the world, you know, like, what does this mean? I still don't know what 261 means. I can't figure this out. I have no idea what it, I still don't really know what it means. I did, I realized that Scottish Rite Freemason equals 261. And Christ consciousness equals 261. And, you know, lately I've been talking about, I talked about the Darren Dalton book and when he was talking about the conscious levels and everything else, you know, but I still don't know what it means to this day, but just documenting it and seeing if it, you know, there's still a pattern that arises in my everyday life. Anyway, the next, so... I didn't document it that night or whatever. I came home and went like right to bed because I had to work at nine in the morning and I was at work and a little bit like an hour before I left, the lottery machine made a noise or whatever. And I went over there and I read the lottery machine and there was an Amber alert that came up on the lottery machine. And as I was reading through it, it talked about four-year-old Olivia Arzaga and eight-year-old twins, Adia and Lillian. And officials believe their destination may be Minnesota. And I thought, what in the world, you know? There's this story about, you know, a kid, and then their twin siblings, and they might be going to Minnesota. They were they're on the Amber Alert. I'm like, what? what is going on? You know, just another example of weird things involving twins that comes up in my everyday life. And by the way, I just discovered just today that the, the, my cousin, my younger cousin that I work with there, and I talked about how he has twin sisters, and I just discovered today that their birthday is 261 days after my birthday on July 29th. My birthday is November 10th, so, you know, pretty interesting. So then later when I got home after work, I got on Facebook and somebody had shared this guy's video about Jim Carrey and consciousness and a bunch of other stuff. You know, he was talking about when Jim Carrey was acting weird or whatever and saying we don't exist and everything else. And I never even heard of this guy before, whatever. And that I noticed that the reason I noticed that Scottish Rite Freemason equals 261 was just because... I went to this guy's YouTube channel and I went and checked out the day that he joined YouTube or whatever. And he joined, started his channel on a date numerology of 44, Prince EA equals 44 in Gematria. 
and it says his real name is Richard Williams, it equals 159, like Scottish Rite. And I just kind of randomly typed in Scottish Rite, and I noticed that Scottish Rite Freemason equals 261. You know, Donald Trump, or Donald, is it Donald John Trump? We'll see. Just Donald Trump equals 159 as well. I talked about how Herbert, I typed it backwards there, but Herbert Hoover equals 159. And I've been mentioning a whole lot about the 88th anniversary of the stock market crash that the World Series begins on this year. Trump equals 88. Think about Herbert Hoover, HH. We just had the stuff about the, you know, the Charlottesville wreck or whatever, where Heather Heyer died, the neo-Nazis. You know, Heil Hitler, HH, 88, Donald Trump equals 138, just like Ku Klux Klan, 138. You know, all of this is set up this way, all for a reason. I went on to document some other things, just whatever. I wrote Christ Consciousness 261. Then I just wrote Consciousness equals 75 and reverse reduced and also 175. And Christ equals 77, just like Consciousness and reverse. And if you write out 77, it equals 175, just like Consciousness. And I just started thinking about, I had recently looked up Carl Jung and Sigmund Freud and I was just thinking about Sigmund Freud and the id, the ego, the superego and whatnot. And I noticed that subconscious equals 74 in reverse reduce, just like Jesus Christ in reverse re reduce, just like Jesus, just like cross, like all the things I was talking about earlier. Masonic equals 74. But I noticed that if you write id, ego, and superego all together, it also equals 74. It equals 61 in reverse reduced, just like Jesus, just like cross, just like Christian, just like sins, just like church, just like God. This also equals 146, id, ego, super ego. Jesus Christ equals 146. Human mind equals 146, you know, thinking about subconscious and everything else. And then I pointed out in regards to all the 74s, if you write out 74, it equals 55 in reverse reduced. Just like God, just like heaven, just like Satan, sky, cloud, Judas, or Judas is carried, I believe is 55. So anyway, I was trying to figure out what, what was all about Wendy's. Why Wendy's maybe, you know, is there something to do with Wendy's that's connected to this 261? And I noticed that Wendy's, Wendy's and Gematria, Wendy's equals 90. The big way here, Wendy's equals 90. And all, almost all of these 261s that I've documented, they also equal 90 the small way. So possibly 261 is just trying to show me this 90, you know? I don't really know for sure, but interesting how 90 and 261 seem to have a connection here. And then this $2.61 thing happens at Wendy's. So I looked more into Wendy's and the death of Dave Thomas, the founder of Wendy's, and it's not going to pull up here because I'm sitting out in the car and the internet does not work out here. It's like 100 degrees out here too, but anyway, the uh, I looked it up and he died in 2002 on January 8th, and I thought, interesting, you know, he died just after 9-11, and I looked it up, he died 119 days after 9-11 which 9-11 can even be written 11 slash 9. 119 is a super important number as well. Things like all seeing I equal 119. Also in Gematria then, Dave Thomas equals 36. Wendy's equals 36 with the S exception. Dave Thomas also born on July 2nd, 7 slash 2 or 2 slash 7. Wendy's the small way equals 27. Wendy's equals 27 in reduced reverse. And Wendy's equals 72 in just regular reverse. So Dave Thomas, born on 72, the founder of Wendy's that equals 72. And his birthday, 72, with the end date, was 72 days before 9 11 in 2001. 
I also pointed out that he was born in the year 1932, and he died in the 32nd year of owning Wendy's. And the original restaurant was in Columbus, Ohio, was operational until 3-2 of 2007. And that even has a date numerology of 32. 3 plus 2 plus 20 plus 7, 32. Thomas equals 32 in reverse reduced. And I, you know what? I just, I just figured out, holy cow, I just figured out why Wendy's. The name, oh man, hopefully, hold on. Can't even believe I never thought of this before. Oh man, of course my internet won't work. The name Thomas means twins. Twin. Thomas means twin. If you look up the name Thomas and where it comes from, it means twin. I can't believe I could not. I didn't put that together. Holy cow. Anyway, wow, that blows me away that I just now figured that out. But sorry, he was born in '32. You know, dies in the 32nd year of owning Wendy's, and the original store closed on 3-2 on a date numerology of 32. Thomas equals 32. Dave equals 32, with the V exception, and also 32 just in the alphabetic order. David equals 32 and reverse reduced, so he's super synced up to, to the number 32. And I also pointed out he died age 69, and Wendy's opened in the year 69. I just can't believe I didn't I didn't even put that together before because I was talking about twins. Dave Thomas. Thomas. Wow. So whatever, I'm gonna end the video right here, but I just wanted to point out one more thing. The original store opened up in Columbus, Ohio, that equals 54. Dave Thomas and reverse reduced equals 54. And he died 54 days after the 32nd anniversary of Wendy's opening. In regards to 32 as well, it's interesting that the night before we got the, the earthquake in Mexico City, I made a video, or maybe it was just, I don't know what it was. I think it was the day before. I made the video just before, yeah, it was that same day. The same day that I made all this, I made a video about the, I talked about Mexico City earthquake, but I was meaning the southern Mexico earthquake. And whatever else. And then we got a 7.1 earthquake in Mexico City, which I misspoke in the video, on the 32nd anniversary of the 1985 earthquake. And if you watch my video about the southern Mexico earthquake, I talked about how 85 is a super year synced up to earthquake stuff. Francis Richter, he died age 85 in 1985. I even talked about the, the Mexico City earthquake in the year 85. The study of earthquakes goes back to Thals of Miletus, who equals 85 in Gematria, and the study goes back to 585 BC, and this earthquake just so happened to happen 585 days after Pope Francis first arrived in Mexico City in 2016. But I'm going to end the video here. I just wanted to point that out because it was the 32nd anniversary, so I don't know. Just interesting, I documented all these 32s, and then we got an earthquake on the 32nd anniversary, you know, so. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another video in regards to this, I think, but whatever, leaving it at that long enough, just wanted to document some strange things, show some other things that are synced up throughout the world, and wow, I, once again, you know, Thomas means twin, so. Cool, I can't believe I just thought of that while making this video, but anyway, peace. Actually, I'm going to put this in this video as well because it makes more sense with this video and I want to document it on a video, but after I had documented a blog post about the 7.1 earthquake in Mexico City, I had laid down in bed and whatever, I turned the channel, I was flipping through the channels, nothing was on TV, so I turned it to George Lopez for whatever the reason. It was the only thing that looked halfway interesting to me that was on TV. And then I was laying there and I was, I remembered that the day before my daughter, I noticed had rented a movie on the Dish Network and never asked any of us, whatever. She must have somehow rented it. I don't think she even knows how to do it. And I thought to myself, well, if we're, if we paid for that movie, I might as well try to watch it, whatever. And it was this movie, 
Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. And I thought, I'll, I'll lay in bed and watch this movie, whatever. And as I was searching for the movie, in the, I knew it was in like channel 500 something, a commercial of, of the George Lopez show came on. And it was a commercial advertising this movie that I was looking for in the channel 500s. And I thought, that's pretty strange, you know, like, I'm looking for this movie and now there's a commercial advertising this movie. And, you know, I never typed this movie in or anything onto the Dish Network, nothing. I just went up to the channel 500s and I was, I think that's the movie channels or whatever. And I was scrolling through and then the commercial about it comes on. Anyway. This movie, the, the movie rental was already over with, so I couldn't watch the movie or whatever, unless I found it online. And I was like, whatever, I'll just go to bed. And, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep because I, I, you know, when this stuff happens, I want to look into it. So I sat back up and I got on my computer for a little bit and I, I looked at this movie and, you know, I do what I always do. I see who, who writes it, when it came out, what it equals in Gematria. And I noticed that it was actually based on a book by this guy, Dave Pilkey. And when I looked him up, I noticed he was from Cleveland, Ohio, or born in Cleveland, Ohio. And I just kept thinking to myself, all this stuff, you know, seems to be synced up to the World Series. I've been talking a lot about how it's either the Twins. I can't figure it out if it's for the Twins or if it's for the Indians or the Yankees or, or what's going on with all of this stuff showing me the Twins. And I literally had the thought in my head and I just said, you know, why can't any of this stuff be straightforward? You know, why can't you just tell me what it is by a simple yes or no? I said, can't remember the exact way I put it, but I said, you know, is it going to be the twins or the Dodgers in the world series in the, and in the world series? Just do something that tells me yes or no. Exactly. So I know yes or no. And literally Right as I was thinking that, not even five seconds later, George Lopez on the show said, I'll take that as a yes. And he was talking to his sleeping wife on the, the, the couch of the TV show because it was something to do with the gambling. I didn't even watch the whole episode. But right when I asked this question in my brain, just give me a simple answer. Yes or no? Is it going to be the Twins and the Dodgers in the World Series? The TV said yes. So, you know... If the Twins and the Dodgers aren't in the World Series, then something is messing with my brain and showing me all of this twin symbolism and making it all happen to mislead me. There's just been so many odd occurrences that involve the same stuff that I'm talking about. And this one took the cake, you know what I mean? Like, I literally said, show me something giving me a yes or no answer. And literally the TV said yes right when I asked it. So... Just, just blows me away. We'll see what happens. We'll see how it plays out, you know. But I don't know. I just keep getting the twin symbolism, you know. And then, you know, just like this morning when I woke up and I go to the store and I see a kid wearing a shirt that says twins. Like, has nothing to do with anything, but it's just so random. I looked up this episode of the George Lopez show, and it's called George Uses His Vato Power to Save De Niro Kayla. That equals 189 and also 261 in Gematria. Remember, 18 slash 9 was the 261st day of the year. It was the 114th episode. And I've been talking about how I keep seeing 114 in all of this, and I don't know what the point is. And I didn't document a whole lot of it, but I'm going to start because, you know, 114th episode, there's something special about 114. And in my head, I've, I've wondered if it's for the 114th World Series or something, but that's why I wasn't documenting it at the time, because I'm looking at the 113th World Series and all these connections. I also noticed that George Lopez, he's born on the 113th day of the year in 1961. April 23rd, the 113th day of the year. And think about George Lopez, Mexico. This was you know, the night, the night of, or, you know, it was just after midnight on September 20th. So early in the morning, September 20th, earlier that day, we had got the earthquakes in Mexico and all that. If you write out Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, it equals 164. 
Puebla earthquake equals 164. Chiapas earthquake equals 164. And this is the new number that keeps popping up everywhere. It popped up so many times. I was going to show you some other ones. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but I just documented them like six hours ago or so. And, but my internet won't load out here. So whatever, I'm going to leave the video at that. I just wanted to show an, a weird occurrence, you know, watching TV, looking for this movie. Then the commercial of the show that I was watching shows a commercial of this movie that I'm looking for. And then I just straight out ask in my head, you know, is it really for this? Yes or no? And the TV said yes, right when I thought of that. So, you know, who knows? It, it doesn't seem like it would be that big of a deal, but it happens all of the time. This type of thing happens consistently every day. You know, just the weirdest things. You'll be talking about something and all of a sudden the TV will say it. Or you'll be reading a word and all of a sudden, you know, somewhere else the TV will say that exact word that you're typing. It happens all of the time. So, whatever piece, talk long enough.